Williams, one of those players that can score the goals is Zanarato, number 10 up top. Excellent 1v1, good eye for the goal. She's tied with tournament best, five goals. She'll have to be the difference maker tonight and look to play off of Palacios and Ordonez. As we're underway, Brazil taking on Mexico in the W Gold Cup semifinal. Spanish national setup, managing at youth level before signing up to be the Mexico manager after the big failures to qualify for the Olympics and for the Women's World Cup. It's implemented a program at this national side. It feels like it is on the rise. Let's talk baked about changing the mentality, about turning winning into a habit. A habit they've certainly shown in this tournament, but this another big challenge. It's one back by Zanerato. And on and behind for Sampaio. And now the chance and behind the strike coming in from Yasmin. Well handled there by Estefany Barreras, who has come up with big saves in this tournament. Well, it's going to be so important for Mexico throughout this match defensively just to make sure that they're communicating, tracking runners, getting touch tight. Because already in the opening few minutes, you can see how many players Brazil are going to send forward, whether it's from the outside, right down the middle, late runners in and they have to be sure that they're going to track. It does look like Mexico is in a four back, and Delgado is going to set a record for goals in a rookie season in NWSL, scoring 11 for North Carolina. Mexico drawing on the opening day nil-nil with Argentina, but then winning their next two group games, including that big win over the United States. There's a chance here for Zanadato to have a go. It was setting up, it was opening up for Bia Zanonato who got that brace. No chance for Brazil just to knock it about. Bite some more numbers into the attack. Rafael, off to you to the area. The header is on, and it's still on here for Brazil to get the opening goal. There's Adriana. Applying the pressure throughout this first half, and it finally tells. Adriana makes it 1-0 to Brazil. Coming off her line, has to make that play if she's coming out big. Adriana just pounces on it, waits for it to bounce, come down to her. It's Antonia deals with it. Now Brazil get going forward once more. Debinha in behind. Zanarato trying to barrel her way through. Referee unmoved as a couple of Mexico players were there. Just opens up the gaps, right, and makes it more difficult for Adonias, who's leading the line defensively, to get pressure. Tabinia making those runs in behind and can go now. And Bernal sent into the area. Yes, Meme is on. Barreras does well to come out and deal with the danger, but it's a slice clearance and nearly dangerous there. Could have gone anywhere. Let's see what referee Tori Penso is taking from this. After consulting with VAR. Oh, it's going to be a straight wow. red. Wow. For denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity, Nicolette Hernandez wow. is going to go. So again, here's the chance of Zanderato going in behind. Hernandez is in front of the player, and then the challenge comes in. So for that yeah. last effort there, it's a sending off, and Mexico go down to 10. Let's go now to our rules expert, Christina Uncle, for her thoughts on this incident. Is this denial of a goal-scoring opportunity for you? Defensively, and we just go back to that foul. I thought Hernandez had put herself in a good position to be able to, to draw a foul, and one of the reasons why Tori Pinzo, in the run of play, let it go. However, defensively, they have been good in Mexico, so now it's just about continuing to do that, making sure they manage, but there's going to be an extra player for Brazil, and with their combination that we've seen already, it's going to be challenging. Ball pinging through the area. Nice first touch there from Antonia. Curls it into the bottom corner! Brazil in full control of the semifinal now. Two goals to the good, a player up, and Brazil look on their way to a W Gold Cup final. The movement, the confusion, it comes off a throw in. They're able to keep it alive. And then you can just tell Brazil wants it more because it's a little bit late, little fake, and the individual quality from Brazil in the attacking half is just something else. Right here, understanding where the space is. And then Antonio, my goodness, just bends that around. Barrera 
just nothing that she can do, screened by her own player. And what a goal that is to put Brazil up 2-0. And remarkably, an 11th different goal scorer for Brazil through five games of this tournament. Unfortunate for Mexico to find themselves down a player and they're going to have to find moments to really take their chances and work their, themselves back into this game in the second half. And there is the halftime whistle. Adriana and Antonia with two, making two changes at the half, continuing to rotate their team. Artur Elias is trusting the full breadth of his squad throughout this tournament. Those are underway with the second 45 minutes, that double change. Marciane. This flick around the corner. Brazil pushing for that third, and it's a cheeky flick turned in from Yasmin. A goal which is about put this semifinal to bed. Some jogo bonito from Yasmin. 3 0 to the Brazilians. And just such a joy to watch. And once again, it just creates a little one two. You drag your outside back out, and then you have four, three players coming in. And from a Mexico perspective, they're going to want this one back because the one thing that you can't control is making sure that you stay touch tight. Luna actually does a good job to try to stay goal side, but just the awareness from Yasmin to understand where that pressure is coming from. A little hesitation says, I'll just pull it behind my back. Thank you very much. I'll make it 3 0 for Brazil to begin in this second half and what a goal what a team goal that is as they are flying high now in this semifinal and Porcilio coming off the bench just have to see out the remainder of this semifinal certainly Paraguay made them sweat at times in the quarters but this a far more dominant performance as Yasmin goes pushing for more will come all the way through and a chance here for Adriana to go for another deflections eventually dealt with from Barreras. Mexico is down a player, but we saw this a lot from Brazil in the World Cup. They'll have four against the back line going player for player, and it's difficult to defend because at the right moments, they'll either, either post up like we're seeing right now or drop off. Rafaela with the cross in and decent opportunity there. That's meme again. Oh, Riding the challenges on Adato, giving back to Yasmin, who had to work around a couple. Good step, though. And Victoria Yaya. Oh, cheeky dummy. I think you go through her legs there to the Santos. Corsiano. Yasmin. Aiming again that cross. Set it up for Tepina. Oh. Struck it sweetly, but just going wide of target is Brazil. And Scoring big time goals throughout this tournament, but Luna's been excellent as a right back. Now could a chance come from nothing here for Mexico. Put in behind for Ovalle, who goes from long distance and handled well there by Luciana. Well, those are the moments. Those are the moments that Mexico's going to have to continue to look for, see if they can go quickly, get into Ovalle's feet, get it in 1v1 situations, but it's going to be quick counterattacks where they can try to exploit those wide spaces. Gabby Nunes, eventually dispossessed by Bernal. And trying to get going quickly, Ovalle can still give chase. Adriana stepped in the way, and the referee, after some deliberation, will give it as a free kick and a yellow card. Really the first 15 minutes, 10 minutes of the second half, all Brazil just playing at will, doing what they want. Nunes around the corner, Adriana in good crossing position, and the chance now for Porcilio, and still off the woodwork, Vitoria Yaya with another chance to get Brazil another goal. After a stoppage in play, you got half your team committed to going forward. Yaya, good first touch to set herself up and can't believe her luck. Now Porcilio. Little dancing moves, a little bit of flair and forcing Espinosa to commit. It's off her last. Now for another Brazil corner, which Tabinha wants to take quickly. damp evening 
in San Diego. Davinia lofts in as Brazil go in search of more. Comes to the back post. Yaya yeah, yeah, again. Vitoria, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get clean enough purchase and well handled there by Barreras. Re Reyes going to ground, just making sure that Yaya couldn't get a good look trying to play that ball across. Little details defensively just to keep the score line as it is. Last 20 minutes of this, this game, can they see it out? Mexico, five moments to build off of. And the players on the pitch right now for Brazil, particularly the substitutes, will be staking their claim for starting positions in that final on Sunday and taking on the winner of the United States and Canada. Nice chance in behind again, Luciana off her line. Assessment needed there from Belayo. Tori Pensa was watching that move unfold. Nothing untoward in her opinion, but now Mexico just enjoying a bit of prosperity in the game. Mexico fans in attendance haven't had a ton to cheer for, but Ovalle giving them some here. She continues to go on and goes for goal. Yeah, go on. It was only formed seven years ago, but Ovalle saying she wanted to thank the league because without it, it would have been very difficult for the national team to take on a rhythm of play they found under Pedro Lopez. Well, from my understanding, Pedro Lopez, very detail-oriented with his analysis, will bring the players in from many camps around once a month to be able to to create the, the environment, create the tactical understanding that they want. Nice flicking behind, Dabinia is in, Dabinia chipping the keeper, but it's headed off the line from Espinosa. Well, exact, Brazil continue their search for a fourth. Yeah, sorry, Chris, exact positioning that you want if you're Espinosa because Dabinia just showing her class, a little flick over, trying to loft that in. Espinosa in the exact right position. Corner taken short. Yes, Meme lofting into the area. The header is on, and there's that fourth, but it won't count for a foul that occurred before the header came in. It's just that shove there from Tarsiana. Was it off the arm there, yeah. maybe, of Nunes? They're going to need that in the final as well. It's a pretty heavy rain continues to fall. Ovaya from the short corner does well to get away from one and loft in. Still a chance on here, flinging herself at as the foul it comes in. It's Belayo from long distance again. This time the block in from Porchillo. But the story of Mexico will reach its conclusion this evening. Brazil are through to the final. They've beaten 10-player Mexico.